me about yourself. Give me some bio information, some of your, your background, your phone. Uh, my name is Victoria Boyle, and I grew up on the south side here in San Antonio. Uh, currently, I'm, I'm a working artist. Uh, I first started my training at San Antonio College, which I call Art Boot Camp. <laughs> uh, I learned a great deal there about my style, and then I transferred out to UTSA, where, uh, where I finished my degree in fine art. What mediums do you work with? Right now I'm trying to be disciplined with my mediums and try to stay strict to each medium. So if I'm painting in acrylic, I try to complete my painting in acrylic or oils. But um, I, my favorite thing to do is work in mixed media though. So um, I, depending on how I want to work a painting, I may start with an acrylic background and then go on top with oils and uh, maybe incorporate some line work with uh, pastels or, you know, so it's kind of all over the place, but I like to try to stay strict with a painting and then if I feel comfortable enough to bring in another medium, I will do that. How long have you been an artist and how did you get started? <laughs> oh, that's a good question. Um, I think I've always thought about art but never knew what I was doing. So I first started my art as a what people would call a tagger. <laughs> but I, I like to bring that up only because I feel like as artists we need to express ourselves. And that was my way of expressing myself really young on, even though I didn't understand what I was doing. Later on, I started to, to make pictures, and uh, one of my friends a long time ago um, gave me some paints and a, a piece of board we found on the side of the road, and we made art, and we made uh, our first painting, which was a tree. I made a silver tree, that was my first painting. Very cool. Are you formally trained? Would yes. you also say that you're self-taught? Um, I would say that I'm very self-taught because a lot of my art came from me and um, when I went to school I learned how to utilize my my skill but I had already had a whole color palette dedicated to myself which was which was a open palette but I tried to work all the time but um, it was it was more loose before I when I went into the, the university I, I felt like my art became more constricted but it was only because I was trying to produce something for someone else so when I first started I would say it was a uh, it was more me now it's happening again where I, I'm encouraged to put more of myself back in my art what are your favorite supplies or favorite mediums to work with? Um, my favorite medium right now is oils. I use a lot of Windsor and Newton. Which is, it, I, I like, I like the, the consistency and, and the opacity and transparencies that I get from that. Um, I tend to water down and wash out my oils a lot. So I, I, I use a lot of things like turpentine and <laughs> A lot of toxic materials. Um, I I always go to my drawing uh, tools as well, like my drawing kit. Mm -hmm. So I like to use a lot of graphite and a lot of charcoal too. Do you work in any specific style or subject matter? Right now, um, I usually work with uh, this kind of like energy that comes out. Um, I try to like hone in to just making the art instead of the outcome. Um, a lot, of, a lot of, I guess I, I've been in the category of abstract artists, but um, I'm leaning more towards to incorporating um, some realism into my abstraction, something to be that people can hold on to. But for the most part, I would say I'm. Um, um, Predominantly abstract.
How do you gather your ideas to create your art? Right now, um, I usually work with uh, this kind of like energy that comes out. Um, I try to like hone in to just making the art instead of the outcome. Um, a lot, of, a lot of. I guess I, I've been in the category of abstract artist, but um, I'm leaning more towards to incorporating um, some realism into my abstraction, something to pe that people can hold on to. But for the most part, I would say I'm, I'm predominantly abstract. In it. What is your inspiration? Right now, um, I usually work with uh, this kind of like energy that comes out. Um, I try to like hone in to just making the art instead of the outcome. Um, a lot, of, a lot of. I guess I, I've been in the category of abstract artist, but um, I'm leaning more towards to incorporating um, some realism into my abstraction, something to pe that people can hold on to. But for the most part, I would say I'm, I'm predominantly abstract. Who are your influences and why? Um, a lot of my ideas come from life. Um, I'm always looking to others. I'm always looking around and um, I'm kind of like a sponge. Um, I try to, to feel my way around and, and uh, a lot of my art comes from feeling from a, a big event or a, a heartbreak or uh, just something really uh, powerful that happens in, in, just in life. So a lot of my, my work stems from the ideas of, of uh, great pleasant, uh, pleasurable feelings or despair. Have you been in many exhibitions or have you ever shown your art publicly before? Um, uh, inspiration is just kind of, uh, it seems that I'm always looking for the small gray areas, the unexplainable, the unimaginable. Um, I'm looking for the, the things that kind of tie people together without word or without meaning or without thought. Um, I like a lot of uh, a lot of Eastern philosophy. And I, I think a lot about the unseen, and I kind of dive into that mystery world. What is this series called? Well, I talk a lot about Basquiat, even though we don't paint a lot of life. But I feel like he his art was a lot about himself, but also about things around him. And he was constantly collecting, constantly thinking, constantly writing, um, going backward in time, you know. So I think a lot about him and his poetry and just how he was as a person. And how did you gather the concepts for the series? Well, I talk a lot about Basquiat, even though we don't paint a lot of life. But I feel like he, his art was a lot about himself but also about things around him. And he was constantly collecting, constantly thinking, constantly writing, um, going backward in time, you know. So I think a lot about him and his poetry and just how he was as a person. Can your work stand alone or do they need to be viewed all together? Um, I have some experience. Uh, I have shown around the city in various galleries uh, who uh, star adopted me one summer. Uh, they had one of my paintings there all summer. Uh, but uh, right now, uh, Melinda Martinez, uh, her gallery shows my art on, on probably like a monthly basis. But I've been around. I've been around the city, and I work with a lot of people. I'm hoping to expand some more. Do you have any specific background stories to your work? Uh, the concept is uh, I really thought about Greek mythology, and um, which to me is this beautiful subject matter and beautiful ideas about morality and about 
just like how far your passions go as you need. So I took that idea and I used it toward my passion, which is being. So I just took some of those concepts and I worked them into a being. Is there anything that you would like to share with your audience or a message that you want them to absorb from your work? Definitely they can stand alone. I, I would say they don't need each other, they don't rely on each other. Um, sometimes they fight each other when I put them all together in a room. <laughs> they do not get along I and mean, they can look almost alike, but there's just something that um, some, in some way they can exist together, but they rely on space. They need a, a good amount of space. I just asked, do you work with any specific style? Um, most of my work is intuitive, so they don't really rely on a story to exist. It, it's just a, it's just pro more process than uh, relying on, on the story, on the narrative. Where can people get in touch with you? Do you have an artist website or any social networks? I would just like to make some connection um, with people, whether it be they like how I paint, or they like uh, the subject. I just want people to be able to walk away with it, feeling something uh, human about themselves and some, and some connectivity uh, with the artist, with myself. That would be, that would be great. Let's <laughs> <laughs> uh, Yeah, I usually just do the Facebook thing. Um, I, I'm working on a site. Um, it's it's been a work in progress because I'm I'm gathering a lot of things. Uh, I kind of want to make it like an eclectic site where you can go see drawings or you can see photographs or paintings. You know, I kind of kind of try to work that all in. So eventually, I would like to have a website under the idea of art mascara, which is something I kind of carry with me. Well, that concludes the interview. Thank you. Congratulations on the show. Yes. Can't wait to see it. <laughs> that sounds great. All right. <laughs>